Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome back to Stellaris, where last time we finished off one Fallen Empire and another one woke up, which is these guys. These guys are for now arrogant and cooperative, but they are xenophiles, so I have good hope that they won't become dicks. Uh, they're probably gonna try and ask people to become signatories. The thing is, since many people are already in a federation, uh, it might not really happen that fast, so I, I don't think we'll see them expanding that much. Uh, we are also seeing the Calbert sentients getting their asses handed to them by the Kravadox Council. And uh, the Loza Valastar regime is probably on the verge of disappearing because they don't even have a single system left, I think. Everything has been grabbed by uh, the people that they're at war with. So, yeah. What we need to do now is wait for our vassals to be integrated. We have these little Orassians, which we started the integration. It's gonna take about uh, about 10 years, so yeah, uh, it's gonna be a little while before it's done. But once that's done, uh, we still have a few... Uh, a few little uh, protectorates, like these two things here. The something independent corporation, the Yejanarti Mandate. And... Get to a construction site, really. Good. In Shorax, then. Yes, okay. Uh, let's start building the gateway and start making another one. I think I wanted to make one here just in case. Gateway. Construction complete. Start building this. So yeah, we're gonna reinforce our empire and wait for a few things to happen. We're gonna just monitor the situation to see how the fallen empire behaves itself. Are they nice? Are they bastards? We'll have to take a look at that before we do anything. We could very well declare war on them and probably just completely smash them using the Federation fleet because they have uh, nothing here. Here they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, they have 6,000, 600,000 uh, in terms of fleet power. So smashing them will be tricky. Uh, problem is we don't have any way of uh, getting there. So yes, we could jump all of our fleets through here, jump them through my vessel here, probably make another jump there then get all the way back down here and then jump them there. But it would take ages to do, and uh, by the time we are there, they'll so probably have moved or done something else, so... So we'll have to see if that's something that we really want to do. We'll just have to see what they're doing. If they decide to expand or if they grab any signatory anywhere, uh, then we'll try to stop them. If not, we'll let them be. What is this? The Caravan Sarai Caravan achieved. Coalition. What? What are these guys? Oh, oh yes, okay. These are the guys with the caravan coin. Uh, let's buy plenty of those because I have so many resources. And let's open reliquaries! Uh, open a reliquary. We will buy a reliquary. We have gained 89,000 alloys. Well, that's good, but we, that, we're, we were already maxed out, dude, so... Okay, let's pull the lever. Can we gain anything useful? Might as well play the sloss, right? Yeah, this is such a pay-to-win mechanic. <laughs> I like how they're making fun of uh, pay-to-win games. It's really fun. Like, hey, purchase caravan coins. It's gonna give you great rewards. And then just doesn't give you anything because it's shit. Uh, that's that's kind of the free-to-play model, isn't it? Well, that's, that's an interesting point. If I decided to kick these guys from the Federation... Oh no, they can I, I can't, okay. So I cannot... I was wondering, if you kick a vessel from the Federation, what does that mean? What happens? But nothing happens because you cannot. Uh, they need to be independent to kick them out of the Federation. But that would have been fun. Like, I'm kicking the Bothrians, I declare war on the Bothrians, I grab some systems of the Bothrians. Uh, what would happen? It would be fun. Fun to know. But you can't do that, so... That's a freed dragon, Eldrake immature specimen. It's not even moving, it's, it seems stuck. Oh, Enigmatic. Oh, yes, so that's what the fortress gives you. Enigmatic Decoder. What does it do? Or use edge 20, cost 18, tracking plus 5, change speed. Wow, that's good. And I have the Enigmatic Encoder, which is... Superior. Which is evasion plus 20%. Man, these are good! I will research those and probably add them to my ships. Uh, well, there's not, there's not much we can do here, because we cannot declare war on anybody with any real motives. We could try and claim some systems, but honestly our influence is not high enough, and claiming two or three systems, when we could just ask for this guy to be a protectorate, is not great. 
But yeah, the main thing, well, what we could do is uh, kick the Zalvan Combite out of the Federation and start a war with them immediately to ask them to become my vassal. That could be Scientific a thing. That could be a thing achieved. we do. So yeah, we could maybe decide that the Zalvan Combine has been a good friend, but do we really want to keep them as allies or do we want to integrate them into our empire as vassals? Because uh, yeah, the Cyclopean Church of Polyphem would look a lot better with these systems integrated inside our borders. Like we would have a a better shape, I think. And with the Sidrin data bank added, that would, we would cover pretty much half of the galaxy. But the Sidrin data bank we cannot grab, not right now. Well, the Zelvan Combine we could kick them out. Do we want to do that to our friends? Oh, they they must know. They must know because they are losing friendship. Why? Because the improved relations is uh, is finished. Okay, yes. They probably stopped improving our relations with them. They have 49 planets though, so colonizing them would be it would be terribly hard. And if I kick them from a federation, they probably wouldn't want to be vassals, right? Uh, honestly, no. They, they wouldn't be too miffed about it. They would probably accept out of hand. Let's prepare this. Uh, we're gonna take the Janarti thing and put this guy in here to improve the relations with the Zelvan Combine. We need to go into very high relations, so when we kick them from the Federation, uh, they don't become too unhappy, and then we can integrate them as a protectorate immediately after that. That would be great. That would, in that would even prevent a war from happening, and that would be way easier, because yeah, colonizing 49 planets seems a little bit too tough. But honestly, all of the votes now are just uh, some people voting to repeal some stuff, because everything that we wanted to pass has already passed. And I will block all of those with my diplomatic weight. So basically nothing will ever move in terms of galactic community, which is great. Enigmatic Encoder has been researched again, which is nice. That's two nice technologies. Uh, let's keep improving the shield hit points then. They would like it if I kick them from... They'll probably have a negative debuff if I kick them from the Federation. They're probably not going to like us for a long time. But when that debuff is gone, they're going to be friendly. And if they're not jumped into another Federation which might not happen because they're pretty far from everybody else, then uh, we might be able to vassalize them easily. If not, well, I guess we made another Federation stronger, which, honestly, in terms of victory, wouldn't really break us. Well, the Zevan Combine still has a great score, though. 82,000. Like, they're not bad. They're under my vassals, but they're not... They're not terrible. The second stage of our Mega Art installation is complete and the process of filling the vault has begun. A dedicated fleet of transport ship operates constantly to transport the treasure of our empire to its new home. Meanwhile, additional structures are being built to house the multitude of required staff and to display a vast number of exhibits. Uh, is that uh, the end of this Mega Art installation? No, we can still improve it for even more monthly production and even more amenities produced for the whole empire. Which will make people happier and probably make resource production higher, so... Might as well do that. Okay, so do we try this little maneuver with the Zelvan or not? Like, we are improving relationships, it's gonna tick up. If we kick them for the Federation, they're gonna go down in terms of power, and they are so pathetic that uh, they might be... They might... Oh, they are remnants. The civilization once spanned the world, the void, controlling much of the galaxy. They were eventually defeated and almost destroyed, but after a long period of destitution, they are returning to the stars. Well, it might be a second humiliation to finish them off, because, yeah, we look exactly like them. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Like, I don't know what the history here is, because we are descended from a race that has been completely mind-wiped. So maybe these guys are the part of the Empire that hadn't been mind-wiped. It could be that. Okay, I, I want to try this thing. I want to try to kick them out and see what it does. I really do. It might be fun. They probably are going to be very pissed by the fact that we kicked them from the Federation, though. We can start a vote to kick them from the Federation. We can no longer let you be part of the Federation. You must walk your own way. Would you exclude us from the Stellar Combined Forces? He asks, his eye looking down in sadness. I will. Let us vote on this. Our ships have been made and yes, they have been voted out, I think. Commercial proposal? I will agree. So they're probably miffed about this. For now. For our protectorate status, it's uh, minus 621 with the Empire Pop. So yeah, no, probably not going to be willing to join us, unfortunately. Well, we could offer them association status back again. <laughs> I cannot invite them to the Federation. They wouldn't accept an invitation back. Okay, so my plan failed. 
But if I buy enough favors, I can invite them back. Like, oh, it was a mistake, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna give you 10 favors for 10 favors. That's... What? Like, my favors aren't good enough? Seriously? That seems, uh, that seems wrong, dude. You... Could I give you a system or two? No, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna give you resources, because I have plenty. I'm gonna give you consumer goods. Like, consumer goods are valuable, right? If I give you thousands of consumer goods. Like, uh, monthly consumer goods. There we go, 200 per month for 10 favors. Confirm that. And then I will invite you back to the Federation, and everything would be dandy. It was just a mistake, I'm so sorry, it was a... Yeah, okay, invite you guys back in. You guys come back in, please. Uh, we, it was a mistake, we didn't want to exclude you, it's okay. We, 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 no, it was just a mistake. There we go, and now they're back in the Federation. Okay, we, we did something stupid, we lost cohesion there, but uh, it's okay. Sorry, Zalvan. It was, uh, it was a mistake, I thought you might want to join, but apparently the fact ma that my empire population is huge makes these guys don't want to be my protectorate, which is very strange, because I would think that it's uh, the exact opposite, right? Yeah, the Kelbridge sentience is losing systems and losing ground fast. These poor guys... Yeah, they don't want to associate with us, apparently. <laughs> Minus 5,000. Yeah, nope, they, they don't want to. And they also don't want to be a protectorate at all because they are suspicious. But if they weren't suspicious, they wouldn't be too far off, honestly. Oh, okay, no, so the empire population is because their empire is big. And so there, is, there isn't enough difference between our empire pops so that they would accept. But these guys are not that far away. And yeah, if we remove the suspicious attitude, they're still 140, so it's still uh, pretty tricky to do. But yeah, with the, with the suspicious attitude changing, maybe at some point they would like to be a protectorate. Not right now, but it might change in the future. Uh, does the fact that the Akano Forerunners woke up... No, the Akano Mediators, sorry. Uh, no, they're still pretty dull, pretty low. So no, the fact that the Akano Mediators uh, woke up doesn't really change their standing in the galactic community or in the world entirely, because yeah, they're still super small. And yeah, the Ke oh, the Kalazan have gateways here, so if we wanted to attack the Akano Forerunners, we're, we wouldn't be that far away. We could just use the gateways to get there, or there, or there, and then we wouldn't be that far. We could traverse this territory and, uh, and attack them. It's still not close by any means, but uh, yeah, it would be doable to end the threat to the galaxy, and they are still... Yeah, they still don't like us. It seems to be going down for some reason. I should probably try and put an end to that threat, so let's send all of our fleets to here. It's gonna take them a long, long time. Like 400 days or something. So a full year. It's gonna take them a full year to get there, but once they are there, it's gonna be a lot easier. Because we don't need many fleets, they have 8 planets, so basically we can just send these guys there as well. And then declare war and attack them immediately, because these guys are not my friends. So they won't start attacking this, and they probably wouldn't attack the Kelazan. Oh, well, I could also get there and jump immediately inside their systems. Uh, well, we probably will want to attack immediately in here. Like, jump our fleets in there and destroy their main fleet in a giant battle. Probably the biggest battle we've ever seen this time. This time, really. And uh, completely smash what they have. But the game will not like this. The frame rate will really stutter and die, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Because the Empire population is getting getting very low. You should really accept the status quo now and stop this war right now. That's going to be way better for you, because if not, you're going to be destroyed, Kelbrids. You don't have much. You're losing all your systems to the other dudes. Like, these guys, they're they are just rolling all over you. And you guys should be largely enough. Like, I mean, three of these fleets should be enough to, to destroy those guys. So, let's declare a war on them to end the threat. And now, move these guys in. There we go. We get in here. You get in there. You guys move to here. So we're at war with these guys. Are they going to move or are they going to try and defend their home system with their big fleets here? Probably the second, but uh, probably the latter. But still, that's going to work out pretty well. We'll send just this fleet here. 
to deal with these little guys there because we don't we, we do want to smash those little bastards we don't want them at our backs to try and move and intercept us so let's send all of our fleets together uh, can we still enable a relic or not? I don't think we have the influence to do that, but uh, I think... Where is it? Tradition and relics? Is it still active? Oh, we still need 100 influence. Yeah, that, no way we can reach that in time. Uh, are these guys coming? No, they're not. Okay, good. Well, then don't come. One of these fleets will get there. And so now we're going to have a big-ass battle on our hands. They have three 200,000 fleets. Uh, that's not going to be enough, guys, I don't think. We lost a... General Valtas, no. General Valtas was great. Let's let's give him a new general. Come on. Recruit that dude. And put it in the army. There we go. And now we are going to just go and smash those bastards. And the Federation fleet will probably take the first beating, which is good, because, uh, yeah, we're not paying for that one. And the frame rate is really unhappy about this. There's too many ships. But yeah, one of their fleets has already taken a big pounding here. Oh yeah, the game really doesn't like this at all. Yeah, we're obviously going to win this. There's no way they can fight us in here, even with the Corvettes. Oh, look at the mess of ships here, it's completely illegible. And as soon as they see a fleet passing them by, there's another one behind. There's no way you can win all of that. No way at all. You're going to get smashed to pieces. I mean, you were just mediators. where You weren't mean or anything, but uh, you were a threat. A threat to our power and a threat to the galaxy if you started uh, grabbing signatories, which is exactly what I don't want you to do. So now we'll send one of these fleets up here. Well, all of these fleets up here, honestly. Uh, this one can stay there for now. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're conquering this immediately. Okay, good. So, no need to claim the systems, we're just conquering them, like, right now. That's great. So we could probably settle the status quo against these guys, but uh, honestly I'd rather grab all of their planets and make sure that they are completely done for. Because they would probably not like us. Uh, if we let them live, they will hate us afterwards. That's not what we want. Yeah, this fight is going to go well, we're gonna win this easily. And then it's just moving on to those three planets and we're done. I don't want you to cross this system, that would be completely dumb. And I want to wait for my science ship to be there so I can scan those planets and grab them for myself before anybody else tries to grab those. Because as soon as one system frees up, everybody's gonna jump on it and gonna try to grab it for themselves, which I really don't want to. General Ralpakin is only level 3, but he's doing a good job. Well, honestly, he has the easiest assignment, so of course he would be doing a good job. And there we go. Now you guys go land on Brother, because we don't have the strength to deal with Cradle. Well, we do have the strength, but... Our army will take so much damage that it won't matter. Uh, you guys, wait before. Uh, wait to, to regenerate a little bit before you jump in. But well, you already healed up. Okay, well then go in. Go into brother. So we'll start by just smashing one of these systems. Survey it, build an outpost. Then we move on to this one. Survey it, build an outpost. And then we finish with this one. Survey it, build an outpost to make sure that we can grab those three. Because I don't want these guys to grab any of these. I really don't. And that's gonna be the last of the raiders dealt with as well, I think. Yeah, no more raiders, no more fallen empires. We will have brought order and peace to our new empire. So who are these alien vessels and what do they want? That's very intriguing and I don't quite recognize the design. Like, what are these things? I don't know where they're from. They have unknown orders? Well, I could investigate. The Nine Cover-Up, what? It's a Toi Fear. What? How is that linked to home base? Investigate. We need to study these aliens through a special project before we can hope to understand their technology or learn how to communicate with them. But, but that project leads to here, which is Initiating ground assault. really. Uh, our warriors are victorious there, but they are going to need some time to to rest, and then they're probably not going to assault this immediately because they're going to lose. We're just going to wait for these guys to finish off here. Which is soon to be done, and then these guys will lead the assault, and the other ones will reinforce. Brigands blockade at Edemar. Representatives of the Cyclopean Church of Polyfame, a temporary blockade is now in effect at Edemar. Processing and transportation of food and minerals through the system are now subject to seizure by external customs and acquisitions officer of the Bemad Thalassocracy. All non-merchant vessels will be turned away or else fired upon. These conditions shall remain in effect until our ECA quotas can be met. 
Sometimes these customs check can be stressful. We understand. Cooperate and no one needs to be harmed. And please rest assured that every grain and ore we solemnly claim will be put to good use within the Burnout Hico Hab programmation scheme. What? We're grateful for your consideration for bright fa self made future. You will regret that, Bamati scum! What the fuck? They are blockading my my vessel systems. And obviously we don't have anything to resist them. Okay, send the fleet! Send the fleet! Uh, where is the fleet? It's probably moving through gateways to get there. Maybe. Or through the wormhole? I have never had this, this thing happen on any of my campaigns. Like, never. That never happened before. Like, some empty systems that just spawn a new army of whoever, which start to blockade your stuff? That never happened to me before. And so, the end of the Calibrate Sentience. They don't exist anymore. So I'm guessing the war is done, right? Initiation. Well, they still have a Kravadox Machine Uprising, but the Machine Uprising doesn't have any systems left, so... Don't really know what that's all about and why the war hasn't ended yet. Because they have grabbed everything, so where's where's the Machine Uprising anymore? I, I don't see any Machine Uprising. Unless they have this... Oh, maybe they have this thing. Yeah, this system is still... They still have this one. And their fleet are, is going to be destroyed as well. I told you you were going to regret this. You might think you have the good fleet, but you don't. You just have some cruisers and some corvettes. There's no way you're winning against a full-on fleet of the... Of the Cyclopean Church, you guys. I think you bit more, more than you can chew. But Rankshin is unemployed. That's not a big surprise, honestly. Everything's blowing up, and there we did it. Now we just deal with that thing. That stupid station. And we'll be done for. We'll be done with this. Uh, okay, so. Now just one planet to assault, and this war is over. Okay, this fleet is getting deep inside the system and wrecking their shit. We can also attack this. Because, yeah, this is a rented fleet. We might as well destroy it before it moves to somewhere else. Okay, now that fleet needs to get here and smash those things. Because, yeah, we, we really do need to smash those things before they smash all of our ships. Please. Uh, we dealt with those bastards up here. And this invasion is going probably as well as I expect. Yes, we are winning. We only have 500 troops. We have so much firepower! Go and smash these guys as well. Our warriors are victorious, Our warriors are victorious which is conquer. the end of the war, right? End of the Akano Mediators. Yes, that's the end of the war. Oh yes, okay, so the war is done now. We grabbed all the Akano systems, which is good, and now we can go scan this. So next time we will be able to expand into these three systems meticulously like bit by bit we'll take our time and uh yeah this expands our empire just a little bit more not by much honestly because yeah we're already huge but uh, still that's that brings us a little bit more systems here and there which is nice uh we still need to destroy one of those star bases so ranction is going down okay let's start sending our fleets back home just in case we don't need all of those fleets there I think the Federation fleet will be enough to deal with everything that they have there, so all of my fleets can start moving back to no one. It's gonna take you a while, but you need to refit, repair, recruit some more ships, be reinforced, everything, blah blah blah. What? No! What are you doing? You, I didn't tell you to get there, you dumb fucks! What are you... What are you doing? Why? Why do you think that this is a good idea, exactly? What makes you think that this is an acceptable route? When I told specifically that I didn't want you to go there. Fucking assholes, I'm gonna get this system grabbed off of me. Son of a whore. Well, we're gonna see that next time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't stay to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you really liked the video, I have a Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!